topic. Um, so I really appreciate how Mastodon style has changed and evolved over the years. And I was wondering if you have a sense of sort of what's next, if um, you have any new sorts of inspirations or stylistic things to explore. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you appreciate that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people, you know, yeah. a lot of you people, know? they hear their favorite band, they want them to stay the same, like, for, until, until they get old and die, you know. It's just, that's just not human nature, not to me. It's like, you know, we, we get older, we grow, we have different experiences, you know. Since the band has started, you know, a lot of things in my life have changed. I mean, I've had kids, got married, um, you know, built a house, tore down a house, uh, lost a lot of friends, you know, toured all over the world. A lot of things are different than when I first started. You know, when I first started, we were like, you know, look like stranded island men, you know, we're just barely eating and super skinny and like he's ripped up clothes and just like jumping in a dirty, stinky van, like traveling all over, which, you know, you're going to write differently when that happens and, you know, obviously things get more comfortable or, you know, things change. It's like, it's inevitable and I think it's good to change. I mean, people are like, well, you know, you're never going to beat the remission record. Why don't you, why don't you write new, another record like that? So why don't you just go pull it off your shelf and listen to it? If that's what you want to hear. <laughs> Because I can't go back in time. I mean, to me, that was a place in time that you can't go back and touch. It's like, that, that's who we were then. And I don't want to be like Metallica, who's like, oh, let's go try to find our young roots and, and try to do it. I mean, for us, it just happens. It's like, you just got to gotta mature and you just got to get older. I mean, you know, you're learning new things every day. And, you know, now I'm taking guitar a lot more seriously than I ever did before. You know, I play way more than I did back in the day. I didn't have time to. <clears throat> we're always driving the van or setting up our gear and you know now the band's big enough where we can actually pay people to do all that I mean I can't lug gear around anymore it's too it's too heavy <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old you know it's like okay cool but so we get you sit around backstage and it's like oh I can actually learn to play the guitar you know I'm still teaching myself but it's like I'm gonna that's where I'm thinking outside the box and trying to try new things and I don't, know, I don't know how the next record's going to sound. I mean, a lot of different variables going on. Um, depends on who's who's coming up with the song. I mean, the last record was was a lot of my songs that I wanted to get out. And I, I'd spent a lot of time writing um, and working really hard on it. You know, sometimes other people have other things going on in their lives that are not totally present in, in, within the, the writing process. And, I mean, that's okay, because all four of us really write a lot, so it's just, I, I, I'm not really sure. But we're always open to suggestions. <laughs> no, not really, we're just, we're always open to, uh, we're, we're always open to, like, you know, new ideas within within the band camp, you know, someone comes and says, hey, check out this, you know, it's, it's just as easy as, like, someone shows up to practice and just starts hitting a couple notes, and then Braun will start playing a beat, and then I'll start coming in and playing whatever vice versa it's like hey we really like that that sounds cool I mean, it doesn't sound anything like so like with that new game of thrones thing that we just did it's, it's really different than if you didn't know it was us you'd, you'd be like you know, who is that it's a lot of glockenspiels and uh you know, crazy straws and smoke and mirrors and capes <laughs> <laughs> no, not really but okay anyway um I don't know who's dying to ask me some something crazy up here. What's your favorite riff that you have ever written? Favorite riff mm -hmm. that I've ever written. Um, I don't know, a lot of them. <laughs> Might be one that hasn't come out yet. I can play it for you. So let's see. 